right, we're back again, and today we're going to be going up to Sumner, to Fink's Restoration in Sumner, Iowa, who painted my dad's Camaro back in, when was that? 2010. 2010, which is, I was a baby, but he does not have that anymore. He also painted my brother's square body, which you saw in the last C10 video, and we're heading up there right now. Pretty lucky to get the truck in to the shop because he's pretty backed up. I mean, the last the last time you guys saw the truck was in our garage. Um, since then, we've done the exhaust. We got the exhaust done at Corky's Car Care in Waterloo, Iowa. Uh, did a beautiful job. We'll show we'll show you videos of it when we get up there. Since we've gone up there, part of the deal was being able to get it in. He's a friend of mine that owns Fink's Restoration. You guys should check him out. Sumner, Iowa. I think he's on Facebook. Beautiful work. You'll get to see some of it when we're up there. Oh, Colin will do a little more video of it of showing you some of the project he's already got going on um, that are either waiting for parts which we all know everybody's waiting for parts it seems like right now but part of the deal was Colin had to come up and uh, help out right I mean with some of the stuff he's been having you do uh, block sanded fenders we had to sand that cow piece down in front of the hood yep so um, we got to we had to gap fit all the doors and hood and that type of stuff so Colin's been learning a lot about the bodywork process which I'm not good at either so it's a good process for both of us uh, we're kind of the grunts we get to do the grunt work a lot of the sanding while he does the little bit of the mud work and stuff but hopefully um, the way it seems as last night we come up what every two three days yeah when you're off and I don't have anything going on and so when I'm working when I'm off work which I'm off for a few days right now with just my normal days off and then he doesn't have track practice or baseball practice we go up and try to get a few hours work two or three hours to help out and speed the process up so next time you see us uh, we'll be up there and you can video go video a lot of the truck kind of show you what's yep. been done the seat we got a seat from Kansas City uh, I wish I remember the guy's name but he did a, a custom does custom seats for C10 you guys can see it beautiful cool seat fits in really well with the truck so yep I'll probably have some time lessons when we get up there we're at the shop now. Uh, we have all the hood, the fenders, the doors are off of it. No motor, no motor work at all. Nope. But the exhaust is done. Also have a seat for it. This is the seat out of Kansas City that we got for it. Yep. It's way soft. Uh, all the rubber for around the door. Yep, here's the exhaust from Corky's Car Care. You want to fire it up? Jesse working. Colin's not sanding. Yeah, Colin. Colin gets in trouble. He likes to walk around with his hands in his pockets. Like Mr. Big Shot, like he's Cletus McFarland all of a sudden. Here's your box. Yeah. We don't need the lights on. The box, box sides, all this stuff. Get ready for what? Primer? Yep, primer. All the mud works done, so we can get ready for primer. Should we go show him some of Jeb's other projects he has? Yeah. Fink's Restoration, Sumner, Iowa. You should really check it out. Sorry about the noise, but Jesse's hard at work. There's a Firebird he's doing his dad's pickup. I think it's a 70 or 71. 5.3? Yep, put a 5.3 in it, all paint match. It's Camaro he's been working on, kind of waiting for parts. Uh, I think it's 67. 7? Yep. But as you can see, beautiful work. Check him out, Fink's Restoration. He's well worth the wait, even if you're on a little bit of a waiting list, but finding anybody to do old pickups and stuff anymore cars, pickups, whatever is extremely rare. Uh, everybody wants to do insurance work. He does not. Uh, he'll do it, but he really likes doing the restores and uh, oh. does great work. Oh, great work? Yeah, because you're not sanding.
This is the end of the video. I didn't film an outro last night because my camera was giving me some problems, so I'm back at my house. But um, the next time you see the truck, it should be painted and back at my shop. So stay tuned and we'll see you on the next one.